welcome to an unexpected weekend in my life in New York because everyone thought, including me, that I was flying home tomorrow. But guess what? I'm not. I'm gonna leave you on a cliffhanger and explain the whole story later because I'm running out the door. I'm rushing because I'd finished like a work thing, even though I was working from home that came up last minute. But I'm rushing to go meet my friend Ava, who's visiting from out of town this weekend. We're going to dinner at a place called Freeman's, Freedman's that I found near Penn Station. And I'm super excited to see her. I haven't seen her in months um, since I moved and should be really fun. So I'm gonna go do that. We're gonna have a nice weekend in New York. I need to unplug these lights before I go. We're gonna go jump on the train and go meet Ava in Midtown or wherever the hell it is. Morning. Happy Saturday. I realized that I started my vlog last night and I just didn't film anything. So we just like jumped to this. So sorry about that, but whatever. I only vlogged a couple days last week. So I got in the habit of not vlogging. So it's like me getting back into it. We're vlogging this weekend. I'm super stoked. It was kind of an unexpected weekend. I guess I should explain the story time of why I'm still here in New York. The plan was I would be on a plane right now as we speak to Oregon and I'm not. I slept in this morning, it's like 9.45, and I'm just now getting ready because I was out kind of late last night. Rehydrating. Currently watching Grace, whose lipsticks and lattes I think is what her channel's called. Yeah, and she does like law school when work vlogs. I love watching her like when I'm getting ready because relatable stuff. Not that I'm in law school, but you know what I mean. Another girl who vlogs her work week in her life. Sorry, I'm looking at my computer because I'm trying to pull up her channel. She actually lives in DC, so it's a real throwback for me. I think she moved there after I moved though, but her name is Amy Rauch. I don't, mm, I'm mispronouncing that, I'm sure. But I love watching her work week in my life videos. So if you guys like my videos, I feel like you'd love her or Grace. So go check them out. I'll link them down below. I'm doing my makeup as we speak and drinking coffee because this is my life. I had these flights booked for probably a month at least. I was gonna be in bed with my parents for a few days and then we were gonna drive over to Cannon Beach where we were gonna have Thanksgiving. Something came up with a really cool, really exciting opportunity that I'm not gonna say just yet because I don't know how much I can say. Basically, it involves an event that I'm going to on Monday here in New York. So basically to do this, I had to be in New York this Monday and I was like, you know what? It's okay, it's only a couple days. And then I changed my flight to fly Tuesday morning, the same flight, same time. Um, to get there super early because the flight would be at like 7 a.m. With the time change and all, I would get there at like 10.30 to Portland. Um, so I'd still have the majority of Tuesday. So in my next vlog, you'll see what I'm doing. But also that's not everything. That's just part of this um, opportunity. So yeah, updates to come when I can talk about them. I know that's so annoying and I've never been that YouTuber that's like, exciting thing. This kind of came up like last minute. I'm flying into Portland instead of Bend on Tuesday and then my parents are just gonna pick me up as they're driving to Cannon Beach. So I'm still gonna be home for a good like four, five days. I'm just gonna go home for Christmas. So it's all good. I am going home. You will see Paula and George. It's just a couple days later. Now I can still go to work on Monday which is good to like meet face to face with people and tie up loose ends before I'm just working from home all week. And I don't know, it's just really cool. Like I don't usually get opportunities like this, so I didn't want to pass it up. I got money back, like credited to my account because apparently the one that I changed my flight to was cheaper anyway. So they gave me like $300 credit. I need to go to a grocery store. My friend Sarah is doing a Friendsgiving at her apartment. And so I'm going to that, but I don't even know. I don't know what I'm bringing in. I'm gonna show you the rest of the stuff I got from Princess Polly. He got some new stuff from there and I'm so excited to wear all of it. Like I'm pretty sure that's all I'm gonna wear this weekend. I'm just obsessed with them. Like I want my entire wardrobe to be Princess Polly. So to kick off my little haul, I thought I'd put on one of the outfits and then show you in the mirror and then I'll just wear it when I'm showing you the rest of the stuff. So this is the sweater. I put it on my Instagram story and I got so many questions about where it's from. I love it. It's cropped to this range of motion. I love the sleeves. It's so comfy. I love putting sweater sleeves over my hands. I got it in a medium slash large. Everything's going to be linked down below, by the way, so you guys definitely want to get it for yourself because they have such good deals. It's an Australian clothing company and they have really good prices for the quality of the stuff and I honestly am in love with everything on their website. I love a good crop sweater because it's like cozy and fun but also flattering on the waist and then you can wear it with high-waisted stuff. The Nebula maxi skirt. So it's got these cute little polka dots. It's super flowy. It is like a elastic waistband. US site too. 
where you can see like US prices and stuff even though it's Australian. I just think it goes with a lot of different outfits. So big fan of this one as well. I might wear this outfit to Friendsgiving today. I'm still deciding. These are the new black booties I've been wearing every day since I got them. I really, really like this style. It's kind of like a Chelsea boot-ish with a pointed toe. It's pointier than my other boots that I had before. And they're just so comfortable. Like I didn't even have to break them in and they're already comfier than the ones I was wearing every single day. Just really classy looking and go with so many things. They go up kind of higher on the ankle. And I'm obsessed with them, so I'm definitely wearing them every single day. I'm, I gotta stop saying I'm obsessed with everything, but I am. Look at this bag. I love the way that it's just the detailing with the hardware and how it has a zipper over the top of it that clips on the sides. And the little cross in the front and the handle. It's so classy looking and just what I needed, just a little black bag to carry with me every day. Um, because I've been using this like snakeskin one that doesn't go with everything. This is a lot more of a staple piece. So it zips on the top like this and opens up wide. It has a zipper in the back. It has a pouch in the front. And you guys, look how nice this is. It's less than $50. Like, it's such a good deal. This is so soft. It's a blanket. I can't wait to wear it. It is this beautiful cream sweater with a mock neck kind of style. It's kind of like that chenille fabric that's so, so soft but you can't really tell it's not like too shiny clara jumper in large extra large that was the only size they had left when i was ordering so definitely go check it out and get it before it's gone fits fine even though it's like large extra large i like oversized sweaters anyway and the sleeves have a little roll here a little bit of a drop shoulder again it's going to be easier to see in the try on clips when i actually show you guys on it's freaking adorable i might wear this on thanksgiving and next i got a pair of pants which is really fun i wanted to step out of my comfort zone rather than just like you know black pants corduroy beige pants which are pretty sick if i do say so myself i like wearing a lot of black so it's nice to kind of break it up with a different neutral they're really nice quality corduroy pants really flattering it's kind of like a mom fit really cute when you roll them up with some boots and big fan so they're really comfy going in with the big guns i was gonna say this for last because i think it's my favorite piece but then i just picked it up and i was like i gotta show them you guys i've been saying since the beginning of the season that i want a really cute houndstooth either coat or blazer and i love i finally found like a good balance of houndstooth where it's not like giant print it's not super structured it's just like loose comfy throw it on over just like a plain outfit and make it look professional and nice without being like too over the top like this could be casual or professional I can't wait to wear this to work or just like in the everyday life this is my new favorite thing but along with everything else. i got this necklace which i'm trying to i want to branch out and be better with jewelry so pretty it's like the yellow gold and it's a chain necklace so i think it would be really really nice with a mock neck or something where it goes right over like the neckline goes above it and it just goes like a really good way to finish off an outfit especially because i wear a lot of plain simple clothes i've been in the market for a pair of black sunglasses because all i wear are reflective ones usually so they're kind of rounded which is different than what i usually go for gotta run sunglasses in matte black so i thought this was the perfect opportunity to get a pair of black sunglasses and they'll go with everything so yeah this is how they look on me i don't know how i feel about the round on my face shape because it kind of makes my face look rounder maybe i don't know let me know what you guys think princess polly just has so many good quality brands and last but not least i got another sweater and this is so fun I, I don't know if it's gonna come across just holding it up so you'll see in the try on this one is a misnomer because it's called the gray jumper but it's in white so it is this fuzzy white, well, it's kind of cream, a little bit off-white. You can tell it has a drawstring in the middle, so it bunches up in the middle, so it can be really, really flattering on your waist. I love the winter whites. I'm trying to get into that. Yeah, it's nice that you can adjust it and decide how much you want it to be cinched up or not at all. So that was everything I got from Princess Polly in this order. I'm, as you can tell, so happy with everything. They have the cutest styles, and I have a discount code for you guys, so you know you're gonna want to use it and get that freaking adorable blazer. You can use the code christy 20 at checkout and get 20 percent off from princess Polly boutique they already have good prices and then another 20 percent off is just like the cherry on top so definitely go check out all the looks that i have linked down below and you can get 20 percent off with my code even though it's from australia though shipping is super super fast like you can get free two-day express shipping if your orders are over 50 dollars. they also have after pay so if you wanted to you know pace out your payments whatever it's really convenient definitely follow me on instagram if you want to see these in action because i'm going to be posting them all the time and now let's get on our merry way 
and try to find something to bring to Friendsgiving. I have this bag of clothes that I started to collect of things that I'm gonna donate and I am, I know I just did a haul, so I'm instituting the one in, one out policy, if you haven't heard of that. It's like every time you buy something new, you go in your closet and you take something out that you don't wear anymore and you donate it. So I'm going to do that. Later today, I'm gonna go through and take some stuff out and put it in the donate bag. And I'm also gonna go through this process when I'm packing for going home this weekend. I also decided to wear this sweater today and then I'll probably wear the gray one tomorrow, but I think it's so cute, the cinched up white and the black sunnies and it's sunny out and I'm just so happy. Happy Saturday. Now I'm in, I think, Hell's Kitchen. I don't even know, but I got the subway and I'm just going to a random, oh, it's not it. no, that's not it. Um, a random grocery store. I don't even know what I'm gonna get. Hoping for the best, we'll see what we find. Okay, I found this little natural market. So, I don't know. I'm thinking if all else fails, like I could just grab champagne and there's always more to go around. There's a fruit. People love grapes, right? Okay, I found these like Moscato, Prosecco mix things. They kind of look gross. <laughs> Is there any more food? Does anyone dislike resting apple tarts? I love that you didn't make it. I got two whole boxes <laughs> of rustic apple tarts, everybody. <laughs> we love Trader Joe's. So if you are ever in a pinch and you just want like dessert cheese. for your friends, like $10. <laughs> 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 that was a oh my God. Wait, the first time my friends were in the apartment down. He's still alive though. He survived the candle gate, 2K19. Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful Sunday morning. I just put some Lululemon dry shampoo in my hair. It's invisible, so you can't even see it. I need some coffee. It feels so much earlier. It's like almost nine. Last night was so much fun at Friendsgiving. I pretty much spent like the whole day there just hanging out with them. I think I got a clip of Tyler's shirt, which got like cinched off. <laughs> we were taking a picture just like sitting on the couch, and he was trying to take a picture of us. And he like backs up, you know, trying to get the angles. And he backs into a candle. It happened so fast. We all were just like, what is going on? He turns around and his whole back is like in flames. Like it literally happened like that. And then suddenly it like rips his shirt off and like bunches it up and stops the fire. He got a little burn on his back, which poor Tyler, that must hurt. But then my friend Cheryl's a nurse. So she was like, okay, you need to go to CVS and get silver hexidine. It was just something else. It was an experience I'll never forget. That's what happened at our Friendsgiving. Someone caught on fire, but all is well. No one's, no one is damaged. No property is damaged. I'm going to brunch with some pals. Oh, well. <laughs> friends Michelle and Aline were gonna do like a Friendsgiving kind of thing today, but then too many people were out of town and I thought I was gonna be out of town. Those of us who we're around. We're all just gonna go out to brunch together. I'm going to a place called Nomo Kitchen. A couple hours till I need to leave. So it's a chill morning, enjoying my Sunday, drinking my coffee. And today I really need to pack because I am, this is like the only time I'm gonna be able to do it. Finally wearing the sweater after I kept trying it on like five times. Obviously everything is from Princess Polly. So I'm super excited that I'm finally wearing the sweater. It's so cozy. Yeah, I mean, I showed you guys this outfit in my haul yesterday. But yeah, I'm wearing the sweater and the skirt and my hair is just down. Turn the booties with it. Boom, also my lights fell off because I didn't like tape them or anything. And when people slam the front door, they fall off. But I realized after looking it up that Nomo Kitchen where we're going for brunch is inside the Nomo Soho Hotel. Say that time. So I don't know, I feel like we used to go there. It reminds me of like when we were in high school and would come to New York for like IMATS or something, we'd just only stay in Soho the whole time. They have that cool archway with the lights and the greenery, which I'll show you guys, I'm sure. It's rainy, but that's okay. We will pull through. This is the entrance, so cute. It is rainy and gross out, but this hallway is beautiful. Wow. Are those the pancakes? Oh, they're so cute. Are you <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm getting a close up of this. Oh, that fruit looks bomb. The fruit is amazing. Yes, thank you. Delicious. Cheers, everyone. We all got eggs our own way. <laughs> Feet a couple plates of pancakes. My way or the highway when it comes to eggs. That's what I always say. They're in the cute little arch, everyone. Look. Hi. Hi. Oh, look, it's perfect timing. Yeah, Who's back from the bathroom? <laughs> um, we're just taking some pics out because they have the cutest arch here full of lights, full of greenery. I'm not even filming my face. I'm not sure what this angle is. Very cute. We had a lovely brunch. 
we found a cute little warm home decor place. And there's lots of lights and pillows and Emma's and neon signs, which I love. Mostly we just wanted to get out of the rain. <laughs> okay, back home now. It was so fun hanging out and having brunch with Michelle and Aline and Gabby and Emma. And we just like sat there talking for hours. I mean, like we were sitting and there was no one waiting for tables, so it was fine. But we very much enjoyed our brunch and then we walked around, went to a little shop in Soho, I think I got a clip of, and then I came back on the train. It is rainy and gross out, but um, I actually had other plans tonight, but they got canceled. So I'm kind of relieved because I was a little bit stressed getting everything done because I'm not gonna have time to pack tomorrow. So I'm gonna pack tonight and now I'm actually really excited to have a chill night. And I think I'm gonna go to the gym because I haven't worked out yet this weekend. I have some editing to do. I'm gonna change and go to the gym. Really excited to get a workout in. I think I might do a leg day. That is so pretty right now. Post rain. <laughs> I'm making up some Kali Noki in the air fryer here. I'm gonna have that with ground turkey. And I had a great leg day, feeling good. I'm gonna jump in the shower, hopefully do some packing. I've literally had like weeks to just even brainstorm outfits that I haven't, so I'll story my life. I don't think I'm gonna vlog much more just because it's just kind of like winding down Sunday night stuff, but not really typical because I'm not prepping for a whole week. I'm just prepping to go home. I hope I got enough footage in this vlog. I feel like it was a lot of me like going out and doing things without really filming them or documenting them much. Um, I got a few clips of what I was up to this weekend. Oh, and I showed you the haul of stuff from Princess Polly, so that's fun. Again, Christy 20, 20% off. I might self tan tonight because I probably won't have time tomorrow. I'm going straight from work to the event which you guys will see in my next vlog what it is. And you're probably all like, oh, that's not even like that exciting, but I'm excited about it. I'm excited, I just have one day of work to get through and then I'm on a plane in 24 hours. Well, 48 hours, I'll be back in Oregon, but less than that, like 36 maybe, I don't know. My parents will be in the next vlog. Paula is just around the river bend and I know everyone's been asking like, when are they gonna visit? When is she gonna be in the vlogs? We miss her and I miss her too, but I'm very excited to see her and see the fam and have Thanksgiving back at the coast and should be good. So I guess this is me ending the vlog because I'm just gonna eat dinner and shower and pack. Pre-vlogmas, dude, oh my God, I just realized that vlogmas starts next weekend. <laughs> Let me know if you're excited for vlogmas. Subscribe if you're not already because I'm gonna be vlogging so much. And I have some really fun ideas that I think you guys will really like, I hope. Fingers crossed, I don't know. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, love you. <laughs>